love bugs is rising back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out for yourself. You know, we've been going through so many different things, having our ups and downs, our good and bad days, our stressful days and our happy days, just to know that there's always a le lesson through every experience. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when you're about to upload our next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like uh, the video has been, you know, very informative to you and gave you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend. Or even if you're on impact or going through some really trying times and you need confirmation or validation toward your life path or towards their life purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And my um, meditation music that I'm listening to... Um, today is called You Are the Universe Chakra Healing Music 639 Hertz Heals Relationships and Love and I will post that link in the description box below and the video that I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101 um, Hey Oka's past, uh, past of the past of the mem uh, painful memories comes lurking don't let it shake you yeah a lot of us you know we're going through so many different shifts the retrogrades coming back in full effect you know um a lot of things that we have uh, that has occurred into our life it could be current or it can be childhood or you know adolescent whatever you know situations you have went through this really put a strain on your life allowed you to see things a certain way and it's like it could have been not so positive it allowed you to put walls up of um things that made you look at people a lot differently um i know there's a lot of people i've been close to as well as myself you know i carried a lot of anger in my heart you know towards my family um the people of my past it's really hard for me to call them my family because i feel like if it's real family they wouldn't put you through that but i'm gonna just go ahead and call them people of my past um it, it's just certain things have been placed upon us you know a lot of times we ask where was god when this happened where was universe when this happened you know this blase blah blase blah, blah, you know this that and the third it can be really hard to um you know what it, it's really it can be really hard basically when you are on your way to self-discovery, you know, you know, went through, you know, your spiritual awakening, that was enough to whatever had you go through those spiritual awakenings, you know, you experienced the Kundalini, you experienced the dark night of the soul, the ascension, you know, a lot of us going to keep going through these things because there's so many different series of events and chapters in our lives that a lot of us is healing from. It could be abandonment. It could be neglect. It could have been physical, sexual abuse, verbal abuse, whatever this has been placed on your life that had you like draw back, you know, from anybody. It can be really hard, you know, to be able to trust anybody again, to be able to look at people again. I mean, I've been very apprehensive about a lot of things, you know, um, but I had to learn to, you know, take my walls down a little bit uh you know it's just like you know dating that's the only thing that i'm not forthcoming on it's like i really don't want to date anybody you know because i feel like i'm in that path and especially with my living situation that's too complicated you know i don't like my life being complicated i like it as simple as possible you know what especially you being an invert you know introvert i say invert but introvert you know i really don't like that care of attention you know i i like to be like you know in plain sight but not being noticed you know, I used to like that, but it just seems like after I went through my, you know, spiritual awakening, you know, it's kind of, kind of hard, to, hard to go back to that 3D world, even though there's sometimes ego wants you to go back and you end up being drawn back to there, you know, because there's still certain things that you need to truly see what they are. You know, a lot of times we were going through this situation where you know everything is coming to the surface it's just like when you you know when you got that allergy you know that uh not allergy but acne 
and you're using, you know, whatever cold cream, these crazy masks that they got, or even, you know, I used to sea breeze and I used to burn the heck out of my face, especially around my nose. I don't, I don't know if anybody ever remember sea breeze back in the day. You put that mess on a cotton ball and you be trying to rub your face and it felt like you you, you don't let fire to it, you know, and that's how your body is. That's how your memory is. You know, a lot of times it, it can, you know, you can be telling somebody, you know, it's just you're Vinny. And you can bring up a certain person or a certain situation, your whole demeanor changes, your whole body changes. It's like your voice elevates to a certain extent. You know, you put stress in certain words. And it's just like with us going through all these different chain of events with the, you know, the, the retrograde, the equinox, uh, you know, the different type of moons that are, are occurring throughout the month. The strawberry moon was supposed to be the most powerful one, I think, and then we're going through the new moon and all these different things. So it's allowing us to be able to, you know, release a lot of things. We're, we're seeing a lot of things that's coming to the surface. And now, just like I told y'all a few days ago, it's like when them daggone uh, memories go, you know, going on towards their, you know, parting ways with it we a lot of times we get upset because it's just like why is this coming up i wasn't even thinking about this i forgot all about this it's just a lot of things that's like in our inner psyche if we know we're heading towards that chapter which a lot of us are you're already in the new chapter and you're like okay Rosal, i'm in a new chapter but i haven't had any of my blessings come in the ones i've been working hard for Yes, you might not have gotten that yet, but it's allowing you to be able to set free anything that's in your life that is not adding growth to you, that is, might has you, have you hindered a little bit or stagnant, you know, so it, it's just like when those happen, if we still have those past aggressions there and, you know, you have blessings coming in, it can kind of mess it up, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like you have to have the purest heart. You have to have you know, your mind free of all the, you know, the bad things that come into your life. And I have to keep telling myself every time something comes up that was really painful to me in my life, you know, being abused mentally, emotionally, sexually, all these different things I had to go through was very painful, you know, but it's just like, I've seen so many people and God wanted me to see that, you know, they place people along your path that, you know, show you, yes, I've been through hell. Yes, I've been through high water. You know, I went through trials and tribulations. I don't have frequent flyer miles from daggone hell and back, you know, to the point where the devil got a damn restraining order against me. He don't want me coming back there and I'll be ready to die. And then God don't want me either because he's saying he ain't done with me yet. So I'm just like, damn, I'm damned if I do. I'm damned if I don't. But a lot of things that we're going through, it can, it can feel really painful. It can feel uncomfortable. But we're, when we're heading towards things that we truly want in life, it's not going to be comfortable. It's not going to be easy. You know, they place a lot of, you know, it, it's just like sometimes we can go through certain things and, you know, not see it for what it is. It's like, you know, you really want to get rid of that. But if if we're so dead set saying we, we uh, are done with this, we forgive this and this and that, just like with my situation, I've been telling y'all for months, I don't forgave my family, this and this and that. And then it went to the root. I, I forgave him about certain situations, but I didn't still know that other stuff was still lingering there. So there's a lot of times we go through certain situations because they truly want us to heal from that core. And we really have to be able to take that time because it's, I mean, you can't be hard on yourself because you want, you want to get away from this so bad because you're heading towards a blessing. God will allow you to go through certain situations for you to be able to see you know, what life is trying to teach you, what, you know, things, th these things had to happen for this reason. You know, I can actually, you know, when I, I, if I just think back when I first started doing this, I had a whole lot of anger in my heart. You know, I, I was pissed off. Anybody would be when you find out, you know, you've known a parent for years and years and years, knowing you had a connection with somebody. They just so happen to be a celebrity. And, you know, people will keep telling you X, Y, Z, this is not your family. This is not your family. But there are so many things that contradicted what they said. You know, that was a lot for me to have to deal with all at one time. And it was just like my dad even told me when I would meditate and I would see him that, you know, what you're about to learn about yourself is not going to be pretty. And I don't know how you're going to handle this. And I'm like, dad, I need to know, you know, if you're my dad, I need to know the truth. And it's just like, it took me to have to go through a movie where somebody was getting hip hypnotized and clinked it just to bring all my stuff back. It wasn't like layer by layer, but a whole bunch of, like a whole bunch of BS that came flying out at me all at one time. And I'm like, okay, here it is. Boom. You got to handle it. 
So it is just like going through all those different situations. Like I tell you all the time, you have to really look at your situations for what they truly are. It's like, yes, it can suck when you have gone through trying tribulations like that. You know, no, it's no fair for anyone to have to experience abuse in their life. You know, I mean, there's so many times you can see things and you're like, dang. It was just the other day I was watching a YouTube video that they put a clip of, of from Oprah. You know, and I'm going through my change of events with, you know, being in foster care or being adopted and I'm getting abused. And then when I see these four little boys, that was the, yeah, four little boys, they went through things and they showed the 911 call about a certain situation where this man was like, you know, I see this little boy out here, you know, in the middle of the night, it's like two, three o'clock in the morning. He's up here eating trash out of the trash can. And it was like, you know, and then, you know, if you're dealing with uh, 911 operators, they're asking you a series of questions like, how old is little boy? You know, where is he? He's like, he looked like he's about 10. And then when the man comes up to him and asks him, hey, you know, you know, excuse me, you know, how old are you? And he was like, I'm 19. And it took that man aback. Like, if you've seen how that little boy looks, it's like all these kids that were placed in foster care. And it just so happened to say it, you know, these are a member of a church, church goers and stuff like that. I mean, like, you know, it goes to every, you know, Easter Sunday, high Sunday, low month Sunday, you know, Bible study, all these type of type of people. And they're sitting up here putting these kids through you know, abuse to where they were only eating like dry oatmeal and pancake batter once a day. Like this boy was 19. His body was so emaciated. He looked like he was a 10 year old. He was the size of a 10 year old. You know, the other boy, he was 12. His weight was like at a probably a probably not even a five or a six year old. The other little boy, he's um, what was he five? And he probably weighed as much of a three year old. And then there was a little boy that was only a year old and he weighed as much as an infant would. So these kids were like, they went through hell. Teeth rotted out. And these are black kids. And they, they, they had all these different, you know, head lice and all that stuff. So, I mean, I'm just listening to this and I'm just bawling my eyes out. Like, this really made my situation look so much clearer. You know, because God, you know, you can be going through certain situations in your life. And, you know, bad things come lurking. You know, you have to be able to, you know, see that, you know, when you're heading towards life of blessings, you know, you might get upset because situations keeps coming to the surface. It's doing that because it's allowing itself to be released. It's like, you know, it's showing you like, okay, you're heading towards life of blessings. You're heading through life of goodness. But with you going there, you can't keep holding on to this. It's just like if you're climbing up a mountain, you having all these bags of which is carried on your your trauma, your misfortunes, your failures, your mistakes. You're heading towards, you know, going towards the Mount, Mount Everest, trying to climb. It's going to be hard as heck to try to climb up Mount Everest when you have all these backpacks, when they're clearly telling you, you know, if you really want to get up there to plant your, your flag at the top of Mount Everest, you have to be able to leave these bags right here because it's going to be hard trying to climb up here with all these bags that you you know, a bag of stuff that you're really not going to be able to use anymore. You have to be able to see this for what it is. You know, I, I look at a lot of the times that where things that I clearly forgot all about will come popping up in my memory and it will upset me. And it's not supposed to be there to upset you. It's supposed to let you know, you know, out of this situation, what did you learn on a positive note? You know, because a lot of times, a lot of things can come up to that surface and it can be very unpleasant. But it's allowing you to see what was taught out of this situation to be able to know, you know, there's things that have been placed upon your life that you thought you would never be able to heal from. There's a lot of times I didn't think, you know, I was going to ever, you know, heal from my mom passing away. That was the most hardest thing, Pat, you know, since my dad, it was that was the hardest thing to have to go through is seeing my mom, you know, basically, you know, it wasn't no easy death I mean she went she went she suffered a lot and I had to be able to watch that each and every day and it, it was just like 
there's days, you know, when my mom, when there's special events come up, Mother's Day, my mom's birthday and her anniversary, those are the days that really upset me. But then when I can look at it, you know, there was a lot of times I would be angry with God when my mom first passed away, like how me and my mom were very abusive towards each other. You know, my, my adoptive father, her, her, her ex-husband placed all the blame on her about my adoption situation to try to make it seem like he wanted me to know when in actuality it was the other way around. So it was just like being able to go through that situation with my mom, make amends with her, you know, on days just to know that God placed, you know, even though he took her away, because even my mom said, you know, when anything comes out, you know, it'll be over her dead body if she go to jail for anything. And she basically made, made sure of that. So even though I wouldn't have never let my mom go to jail or, you know, place any blame about that or about her, you know, um, it allowed me to see things for what it was. I had to really truly see that, you know, even though God, it was time to call her home, God wanted me to be able to have that good time with my mom, spend that time with my mother, uh, you know, be able to help her like she helped me. Yeah, the ending was not pretty at all, but it was the fact is I was blessed to be able to, you know, help my mom, nurse her, you know, take her mind off of her pain, try to at least take her mind off her pain. Um, being able to cater to her as she catered to me when I was young. Um, being able to know I did that, that was really a blessing to me because it's like I tell people, even I tell my own children because, you know, we, we don't have the best relationship. I said, you never know. Life is too short. You never know when some, somebody's last day is going to be. You don't want uh, a person, you get into it with a person. It could be something very petty that, you know, God forbid, they either take you out or this out that you don't want that last memory to be of something drama. That's why I always tell people, you know, if you have um, a rocky relationship with your parents, you know, um, if it's something that's petty, that you know it's like he say, she say, or she wouldn't do this, or he wouldn't do that, you have to be able to, you know, meet each other halfway. You know, if you, you know, you have that situation where, you know, hey, this is like, you know, very abusive or whatever, and you can't see eye to eye, and it really brought you to a dark place, then I understand that. You just have to, you know, it's hard at times, but you have to be able to separate yourself from family, because nothing's supposed to hurt, regardless, you know, but if there's something that you know y'all can sit down, talk to, get therapy for, do that. Because it's like, I tell my kids that all the time, there's many a day, especially through the things I'm going through right now, I wish I had my mom here. You know, I'm not blessed to be able to talk to my biological mom. You know, I had to come to terms with that. And, you know, and it, it took me a while to do that. And there's sometimes I still get upset about that because it's just like, that's a part of me. And I don't have that chance to know that. But, you know, obviously things just happen for a reason for me not to be able to get that. That's just closure. I'm going to have to just, you know, just take for what it is. But... It's like your past experiences can really, you know, teach you a lot. You know, it's not supposed to be there to hurt you in any kind of way, even if it has. But it's a lot of times for it to come to the surface, there's obviously something that you really need to uh, see it for what it is. You know, a lot of times our past will come back to haunt us. You know, there are certain situations that you've been placed in and, you know, it just feel like people have gotten away with murder. Trust me, I feel that. You know, but it's just like, I, I'm glad I went through my experiences because it wouldn't have brought me here where I am today. Uh, being able to see the strength within myself, I wasn't able to see before. You know, every time I see myself back in the day when I was truly going through things, it's like, what's wrong with me? Why am I so damaged? Why am I so jaded? Why does everybody treat me this way? You know, I'm always having somebody pick over me. It's like I was never good enough for anybody. But then it's just like it's allowing me to see myself for what I am. It's like regardless, I can't worry about what people think of me. I can't worry about, you know, if they pick somebody over me, obviously, you know, <laughs> it, it, it was that person was not for me, whether if it was a friendship or a relationship. But they all taught me a lot of things. And I, I'm very glad I went through these situations because it taught me a lot. You know, I got strength from places I never thought I would. You know, um, being able to not speak to my dad, but knowing, you know, we, we can talk every day because of my, you know, our tel tele uh, telepath, whatever that is. Tell <laughs> well, we with a metaphysical situation and our twin, our twinsy situation, we're able to communicate a lot. And I, I, I will be forever grateful for that. Even though we didn't have that physical connection, I'm being able to be blessed that I can finally see things for what it was, you know, even though we didn't get that chance just to know 
you know certain things have to you know be like that so it's just like when your past experiences come back you know it comes to the surface you know knowing you're going to be able to have better memories that you can place along your path that those are the ones you want to hold dear the ones that you know that has hurt you it's not supposed to be there you know we have to be able to make amends with ourselves first forgive ourselves for allowing us to keep dwelling on those things you know when you're heading towards beautiful blessings you know anything and i had to tell myself this a lot of times um when we're heading towards blessings like that we have to we have to be concentrated more on the blessings and not the things that has happened to us that's going to keep us at that low vibe, you know, keep us to where we're all upset and, and keep reliving that painful scenario over and over again because it's nothing you can change. That Whoever placed that upon you, they can't change. You can't change them. It's only up for them to do that just like it's up for you. But it's just like I tell anybody, any situation where it has to do with your siblings or even your parents, if you know it's something petty that, you know, it could be something that can be talked out or even go to therapy or just having a one-on-one -on -one with them, fix that. Do, please do. Because there are going to be many a days, like, God forbid, if something happens, you ain't going to, you know... You don't want that to be the last thing y'all said. You know, you're going to be wishing those shoulda, coulda, wouldas, you know, all the time. But if it's something that you you already know that's, that's not tangible, you know, just keep doing you and just say, hey, at least I tried. So, but I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Let me know. Drop me a line and let me know if you resonated. You know, give me a thumbs up, share, hit the notification button, subscribe. Um... And I hope you just have a blessed, safe 4th of July. Hopefully this will come out today. It's just like a bad habit when I do over 20 minutes. Shoot, it take about five or six hours just for it to upload. I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Sammy Mackey, uh, Dine, uh, Waz, I mean, Yaz, Harola. I hope I said your last name right. And Bree Tree, much love to you as well. So like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line. Oh, and Jane and Ken, I got to make sure I put y'all's, uh, the life of Jane and Ken. Uh, they do, they, I think they live in um, Vegas, I think somewhere that out there, but they do a lot of outdoorsy stuff. You know, they done started their whole new life path on traveling and doing a lot of interesting things. So I want to give them a post notification shout out for that. Um, stop by their channel. They do really great videos. I haven't been by there for a while, which I really need to do. So I'm sorry, Jane and Ken. So much love to you. And I will see you on my next video. Have a blessed, safe 4th of July. Make sure, you know, y'all be careful with blowing up those fireworks. And know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you get everything that you've been working hard towards. Much love. Peace.